Hello from Tokyo! Today's painting I actually did in the summer and forgot to put the video up, but it's leftover paints. So this is a Van Dyke brown and light gold mix. And this is a kind of a customized dark lilac, mainly Amsterdam paints. And this is a Prussian blue thalo that was used ages ago. And this is um, kind of a metallic magenta mix. And I have also a uh, Pebeo. This is an uh, iridescent green blue. And this is Pebeo iridescent precious gold. And this one is a Phoenix Arts Value Series yellow middle. So just a regular acrylic paint, a craft paint. And I'm going to be using titanium white as always as the base. These are really thin today. I've added extra water to my usual mix. So um, yeah, you can check that all in the details under the video. This is how thin the consistency is, as you can see here. Um, maybe it's a bit more difficult to see there, but you could tell in the white. So let's go ahead and put down the base. The one thing about using leftover paints is that you might get some lumps like I have some here but you can easily pick them out with tweezers and as you spread the paint by tilting you'll notice them more so it's easier to pick out then. As the paint had been sitting out for quite some time, I didn't have any air bubbles to pop out. So I went straight on to pouring on the colors. And as you can see today, I'm not doing it all dainty in dots. I'm just going straight ahead and pouring it out almost like in a wave shape. And this will cause some really nice blending. So I hope you enjoyed the video today and I'll come back when I start to do the balloon smash. And now that the colors have been blown out how I want them, I'm going to start balloon smashing from the corner. And this time, because the paints are so thin, I'm not gonna dip my finger in the center. See what I mean? It's very thin. Um, so you can see it moving around. So I can't really fix the centers until the paint's a little bit more tacky. So I'm gonna wait to do that at the end. So um, we'll carry on with balloon smashing. 
I'm also wiping the balloon with a paper towel after each smash here, so there's no double smashes on this particular painting. I'm running my fingers underneath the canvas to take any excess paint off because if you have any paint there, it may pull what's on the canvas off or change the design. So I'm going to torch some of the air bubbles out and then I'll start to work on the middles of the flowers. Usually I heavily edit this part of the painting so you only see one or two finger dabs in the center per flower but this time I'm going to leave it slightly less edited so you can tell how long it actually takes to um, work on one flower and actually it takes longer than this but um, uh, it's quite a process. So let's have a look at the wet finish of the painting. It's interesting how the effect is sort of similar like um, to a cloud pour, although I haven't used any of those products that I see, um, you know, artists in the US using like the, what's it called, deco art. I don't have that available here in Japan, but it's created something similar. Um, I'm not sure how <laughs> could be the consistency of the paint and the metallics but it's so beautiful look at that isn't that gorgeous look at how the colors have all mixed together i love it um i don't think i've used any pearl white either uh or iridescent white no i didn't so anyhow doesn't it look lovely and here we have the dried version. It's dried exactly like how it was when the painting was finished. Really lovely. The colors are gorgeous. Um, I've actually used a really cheap, like equivalent to a dollar shop or pound shop uh, canvas here. So um, in a way, I wish I'd used a better canvas, but I was using leftover paints. So isn't that the way it goes? Isn't it pretty? This part here in that top corner is definitely my favorite. I just love how the colors blended together there. Just turning it this way so you can check 
the orientation, whether you prefer it this way. I think I like it vertical. Um, yeah, oh, but that's kind of pretty too, to have it all hanging down like that. And just checking the iridescence, which we have because of the Pebeo uh, iridescent green blue and the precious gold. Very nice. So there we have it. What did you think of this painting and the colors? And do you use your old paints too or leftover paints? And how long do you leave them before you chuck them out? Um, please have a go at doing something like this because it's worthwhile. It's turned out really gorgeous in my own opinion. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the painting today. Thank you so much for watching as always and see you in the next one. Bye.